what is today? October 8th? 6th. 6th? 6th. 6th. First person to shoot a deer this year. Um, about 7.20ish when I seen it come in. Came in under my tree stand. Stopped there. Almost thought about shooting it then, but you know, I was generous. So I let it walk around and it walked out into the field at about 35 yards. And I guess it was calling my name that it needed to be shot. So I thought it was a doe at first and it ended up being a monster. So that's what it is. How much does it weigh, John? It weighs one, 111 and a half. <laughs> yeah, 111 and a half official weight. Official weight. With his hands on him. Well, if you want to get a picture of the scale up there, what does that say there, you know? <laughs> what does the scale say? Scale don't lie. One eleven and a half. <laughs>Yeah. All right, so story time. Um, make this really quick, because it could be super long. Was supposed to go to work this morning, had a main water break, and I was like, oh, I should check the wind. And the wind was really, really good. So I chose to go out. I actually called Johnny and I asked for a couple tips, and he gave me some good things, and I did what he said. Got out here and shoot at a doe at about 8.45. I miss and I'm just all, all pissed off and I'm like fuck shit and I, re I reload and about 45 minutes later I see a deer coming but I can't tell what it is yet turns his head and I see antlers and I'm just like immediately my heart's pumping <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going quick and uh, he goes right where that doe was where I missed I aim a little higher my range finder's broke that's why I missed the first time and uh, I hit him back I was really confident I hit him back and I sure did but he ended up dead and got some buddies to help me track and he ended up dead about 60, 70 yards away. And this is my first deer, first buck. I'm really excited. Woohoo! Yeah, I've lost him. Okay, I only see it whenever I go on there, but. Right now. So, got to camp, like 5.30, ate some chili. Got one exploring and set up at like 6.15 and by 6.30, got walked out and dropped him and had to put a cycle one in there and pretty much there she wrote. All right. Where were you at? The shittiest place in the world. Yeah. Three. Okay. You knew you were shooting a buck too, right? Oh, man. Oh, I totally knew it was a buck. It was, it was a buck a, just a big doe. It's the a biggest doe. doe. He smoked a doe. All right, right. There? congratulations. Thanks, bro. All right, so I went out and had a north wind. What was the day? It was Tuesday, October 26th. 26th. <laughs> I couldn't remember the day. Um, after work hunt, and I had a north wind. And um, so I sat in the field on some logs, and I thought I was too close to the path where they crossed. And uh, I just didn't feel right, so I smoked a cigarette, chucked it up as a loss. I had another hour left, and I said, uh, you know, to hell with this. I'm just going to walk back and see what I see, you know, walking in. And uh, I got about 100 yards away, and Fred Bear says, turn the fuck around and go sit in the grass. And I was like, okay. You know, so I went back to where I was, and not initially in that pile, but I come to the east and a little north, sat in some grasses there, folded up in my chair and sat down, knocked an arrow, and I sit and I look up, not five minutes later, this buck had rounded the corner 10 yards from where I was at initially. And the wind was north and he was headed east and he still smelled probably my cigarette that I smoked. He sat and he looked at it and he looked at it and stared for a good, felt like forever. Uh, and then he started hightailing it to my, you know, nine o'clock. Not running, not jogging, but that, that fast paced walk. And I know Blake, poor Blake did a merp the night before and didn't work. So I thought I'd hit him and I was like, shit, I got a merp, man, I got a merp. So I'm sitting in the grass and he's on the move and I had one of these right shots, you know, so I, oh. and then I'm through the top six inches of the grass and I had to lean, but I merped and he stopped and looked at me. Fred Berry was like, you know, breathe. You know, it's, it's silenced, it's quiet. I looked at my level, I checked my peeps, lined everything up, I put the fucking mark on the on the on the chest, 
and I let her fly, okay? And I thought, I watched that light knock follow that top pin. It was right where I wanted, but the damn thing was sticking out that much. He didn't even act that wounded when he turned and busted away, and I thought I caught blank. I was almost passing out. And I uh, lucked out with, uh, I called a couple people and went out there. And, you know, I gave it a couple hours of foam blood 100 yards away where he went into the CRP, backed out, gave it a couple hours to decide. Called my buddy Terry, he says it won't hurt to go peak 30 yards. We went in there, we started blood, you know, we kept finding little little sprays here and there. He hooked around to the left, the river's flooded. So he didn't want to just jump straight down in there and it got thick though. And he took a right, which is where I found my arrow, covered in blood and the, and the fletchings were out here covered in you blood. You got so more penetration broke. than you thought. Oh top. yeah, he, he didn't hit shoulder like I thought. He hit where I wanted, but the problem is he was quartered to me way more than I thought. You think so he broke it when he, he, the arrow didn't go all the way through him, but he broke like as he moved his shoulder? When I found it, and it got thick and he had to yeah. go through a hole, I found the arrow over here five yards from there. And he ended up being I didn't even find two, it, I just found a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. So he came through, I think I one lung, stretched all the way back through his liver, and came out because I found one nick in his other lung, but nothing serious. One lung, liver, and out through before the hip. I found this there, so he, he pushed it through and fucked it up, and after that it opened up. That's all right. And then we went 10 more yards, and he, he stayed right on the berm, laying right there. How far did he go, Matt? About 130. 130. 130 Didn't even and go how 130. How far did the shot was? About the shot was about 35. 35? Yeah, bro. Oh. I, I was poked. At, I, at 30 at least. In so the you put your third either. pin high? 30 pin high? No. 30 pin's the top pin. Oh, you run 30. <laughs> <laughs> I know, not intentionally. Lauren <laughs> set it up like that, but he denied hey, it. Lauren, it worked out. Him, man. It worked out. I have been practicing it. Well, oh, congratulations. Thanks. Awesome deer, Thank man. You, Thank you, sirs. Thank you, sirs. Man, buck of a lifetime. So, five days after this last interview, go out to uh, private, the app orchard that sucks, apparently. And uh, got set up in the low hole, first time using it, and shot it at a turkey about 10 minutes after setting up. And, oh, I didn't hear about the turkey story. Oh, yeah. I uh, started getting cold about 45 minutes later, go to put my jacket on, get about halfway up and look up, and there's this guy walking at me about 30 yards, and watched him and smoked him at about 17, and watched him die from the stand, like nice. 82 yards, and he was a bitch and a half to get out, but <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Very cool. Congrats, Big buddy. Yeah. Congrats, Bob. Thank Great you. Job. Another seven point. Another seven point. <laughs> <laughs>
neighbor Larry had to come help us with his uh, toddler. Oh, nice. Larry made toddler me. sled and also his four wheel. Yeah, he miles. pulled it back. We had to pull about 100 yards. Maybe it's months. And that's mm -hmm. it. Congrats, John. He's beautiful. November 1st, get out to my killing tree at my grandma's. Got out there early, and all of a sudden I see flashlights on the other field edge. So I'm thinking it's either another deer hunter or there's been a billion ducks out there. I figure someone's gonna shoot them ducks. Well, 20 minutes later, it scared the piss out of me. Boom, 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 boom! I bet you before I shot this deer, I heard 75 gunshots. And then at about 7.50, I hear shh, shh, shh. And oh man, doing the same thing on the big one I didn't get before. So I turn around, I stood up, turn around, get the full draw, see this deer pop out. Knew it had antlers and just wait until it gets in my shooting lane. And holy hell, I seen four points on the side. Knew he was mine. Sent the arrow, 19 yards. Oh, he ran, meal kick ran straight out in the field. I couldn't see him at this point, but I knew he was just laying there dead or I didn't get him. So I, I jumped down, run out in the field, and I see him. Did my happy dance, hold my bow up, yelling towards the duck hunters, because they had to see him go down. Had my hands on him by 8 a.m. Pretty good morning. Perfect story. Well, I shot this guy two days ago. He was, uh, on the downwind side of a nice bedding area, shot him at like 640. I think he was checking for does. Hit him. Let's see. Hit him right there. Pretty good shot. He went about 150 yards and found him the next morning. All right. Was it on private or public? It was on public. The public Grand Main Man. Yep. There you go. Congrats. Thank you. This was my doe out in Kalkaska. Me, Tom, John, and Jake. Or I guess I should clarify, it's her leg. <laughs> and this is all I found. <laughs> that's all we got left. No, but anyways, we're out in Kalkaska. We just came out from Johnny's dad's and we didn't see any deer really though. Tom and I didn't see any many deer the first night. John actually shot a nice doe. So we pulled him the next morning, found a new spot, a bunch of fresh tracks in the snow. And then about, I don't know, five o'clock, I hear Tom take two shot, double tap it. Text him, you got a nice doe. And then about five, a little before 5.30, I hear some noise behind me and when they're like right there and you know, turn all the way around my stand. And this baby was at like 15 yards and mom was at 30 in the thick stuff. She wasn't about to come out no more. She was getting ready to turn around and bolt and give her a boom. A little while later, the guys come over and we tracked her. And I thought for sure I won the weight contest when we found her. Apparently in the lead by half a pound. Mm. <laughs> Good story. All right, I got my deer. I got two deer actually this last week. One was on opening day. I shot at my dad's place. Chopped that one up out there. And then we went to Calcasco with my brother Blake and Jake. And first day there, we didn't see nothing, like Blake said. So we moved our stand and got to the deer and shot mine about five o'clock through the, through the woods, some thick woods. Ran right across in front of me, shot again, actually missed on that shot, but then it just flipped over about 40 yards from my stand anyway. So happy to get that one. Got all the drug out with my brother and went and helped Blake get his. Public land, though in Kalkaska. We were out hunting with my brother Tommy, good friend Blake and Jake. Um, we got to this spot. Everybody set up stands. I just helped Jake get his stand set up, and I went and go found found a spot that I wanted to I wanted to hunt, but there was already a hunt. So then I backed out and went to another spot that I had already previously hunted there before, and hung out a stand there. About five thirty, she came along. And uh, two other two other deer. Um, I had seen a little button bug prior to that. Um, it kind of dark. I wasn't even aiming on this deer to shoot. But I think she got my wind or something. She acted funny and she turned broadside. And 
but she blew right at me, so she had to go. They blow, they go. That's the way it goes. So, shot her. Um, we're going to skin her and see what the exit is. The entrance wasn't too far back, but it was lethal kill. We found her uh, roughly 200 yards away. Are you ready? What day? In Sunday. What day? What day? Do you remember? What day was that? What day was Sunday? I don't got my watch. Today is... Huh? Today is the 21st. Let's go with the 21st of November. November 21st. I saw four doves walk right out. Daybreak. This spike was following the dome. And at 8.30, I shot it and ran about 30 yards. Free 50 legend. Gotta get it. <laughs> Good job.